Hey, so um, basically, uh, I just wanted to show you how you would look for the real estate brokerages. So basically what you would do is you would import data. Let's do Google Maps. So let's look up, uh, I guess, real estate brokerages. Um, or And then we could do, I think you just got the, uh, the license in Colorado. So we can do like the Denver, Colorado. Great, so I'll get the latitude. I'll get the longitude. longitude and then let's go back here and let's just uh, find them and so this is going to find all of these things in the meantime I'll just delete these rows and be able to delete these columns as well sweet so we found I think 80 so far and uh, basically you can just open these up and great so now you have all of these little businesses so you can just take out the names put them in here you can get um, uh, phone numbers, which is great. So you can give that to your SDR. You can get um, their Google reviews rating uh, and how many reviews they've had. Um, one quick tip is if you're doing email marketing and you just say like uh, um, uh, cold outbound, you just say like, hey, I saw that you had 4.9 stars um, and you reach out to them. Like that's a huge um, like little thing that you can do to um, increase the response rates. Um, another thing that you could do is you can even scrape these like websites and mention like, hey, I saw your mission statement or something or I saw this on the website. And, uh, and then you can mention that in the email and that'll also uh, increase response rates pretty considerably. Anyways, so now we have the websites and we have all this information about these, uh, what do we have now, 186 uh, real estate brokerages in Denver, Colorado. And um, let's enrich the data. So why don't we, why don't we scrape the website and see what we can find. So I'll scrape the website and I'll put in this website URL. So let's just uh, let's just run this and uh, see what we get. So this should probably help us find some email addresses that are already listed on the website. That might be helpful. So we got some websites here. Yep. So let's just open up both of these and let's get those. So good. We got a bunch of them here and let's do this one as well. So yeah, so that can be really helpful. Um, yeah, so we can find a bunch of stuff like this. There's also social media links uh, that I can try and find phone numbers or stuff here. So you can go in and scrape all of this and put that in uh, if you want. Um, from here, now that we already have a bunch of this stuff, why don't we like try to find uh, the owners of these brokerages, right? So what we could do is we could, um, uh, what we can do is we can say, let's do enrich person from search. So this is going to automate a Google search and it's, uh, it's also going to, doo -doo -doo, here we go. it's also going to uh, enrich them on LinkedIn. So what we will do is we're gonna put in the name, which is uh, the name of the brokerage, which is right here. And then we're gonna say um, you know, owner, and uh, two quotation marks on Google is for synonyms, so you can find other things like owner. Uh, I think that's probably the uh, right thing. We can just try and see, right? So we can just Google, let's see, porch light real estate group, and then we can say um, owner, and then we can say uh, linkedin.com backslash. So we can just see what we get. Um, great. So yeah, CEO, owner, Carol Breyer. So this is who we want to find, right? So we can reach out to them. Um, or it could be whatever. It can just be broker or anything like that. So, but I'll just do owner just to see what we get. And so then we can do this. And then we can do save changes. And then we can run this. And, um, doo -doo -doo -doo. let's just wait for this. This is going to take a second because we're doing both a Google search and a LinkedIn enrichment. So this will just take a hot minute here. Um, so let's let this run, and uh, I'll just pause for a quick second. Hey, uh, we're back. So yeah, so it, it found all these people. Um, that was just like uh, maybe like 30 seconds while we were waiting there. So um, now, yeah, so you can see um, Carol, CEO, owner, Wes, um, managing group owner, um, you know, we look at D, owner, broker. So yeah, so I think we found the right person. And then I also just enriched the companies as well. So you could see here we got a company from a graphic information too. So we could see anything that's on their LinkedIn profile. So we can get the location, we can get employee count. Maybe I'll get that because that's helpful. So you can do that programmatically, obviously, for all these people. And then what you can do is you can actually uh, um, message all of these uh, uh, people. So let's get their emails, right? So let's go to people. Let's get email address. So let's find their work email. And... Um, yeah, so let's just put in their full name, and we have their full name because it's an enriched person from search. Um, and then let's do website. And here, I'll just we can just do a few of these, but uh, whoops. 
Great, there you go. And valid email found. Carol.bayer at Porchlight.group. You know, Aaron at Lux Denver. Uh, Lane at Dwell Denver. Sweet. So that's how you do this. Um, and so basically in five minutes, we went and found 180 uh, um, uh, brokerage, real estate brokerages in uh, um, on Google Maps. And then we got all their information. And then we scraped their websites for some emails. And we got uh, their employee counts. And we got their Google review ratings. And we got their owners. And we got their email addresses. So yeah, I uh, hope that's helpful. And uh, let me know if you have any questions.